Good morning, Miss Hall. Good morning, Chuck. Is Professor Morin? Sure. Going back. He and his assistant are already hard at work. Thank you. She's a mum, mum, mummy lived in Egypt, though. You know, she rapped with Osiris. Now it can be told. I think she had this power. Over one Good morning, Miss Harlock. Good morning, Dick. I've got a lecture this morning on it, so I thought it was best to start early. No problem. Hi, Tina. Anna. Anna. So, this is it. This is it. This is one of the artifacts your uncle collected last year. Actually, it's Dr. Harwood's main attraction. You would think Uncle Wallace would have already started his paper on all this stuff. Too many other priorities. Well, it's about time that somebody had a look at what he found. And we got tired of waiting. Okay. Got it, got it. This is great preservation on the case. Poor Shep Soot. I wonder who she was. And I wonder what she's gonna look like after 3,000 years. Osiris. God of death and resurrection. This is definitely not one of my favorites. I was about to call 911. What happened? What am I doing on the floor? Here, this should make you feel better. You fainted. And just as we were about to remove that mask. Are you sure you're okay, honey? Let's get her up. Come on. Okay? Mm-hmm. No, please. What? Aren't you curious to see her face? You weren't afraid of some ancient curse. I just don't think we should go any further without Uncle Wallace being here. Maybe you're right. He did collect all this stuff after all. And Tina and I don't want to be late for our first class either. No, I've got classes too. After classes? Did you manage to get all the, uh, AV materials for today's lecture, Tina? Yeah, those AV nerds dredged up every bit of hardware on the list. What? The VCR is set up and ready to go. Tina, what would I do without you? So this Scarlet Countess Club is supposed to have a great band, all chicks. Tell me about it later. So, you think he'll finally notice? If he doesn't, he's either blind or gay. <laughs> Good morning, Anna. No, no, come, 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 please. How'd you know it was me, Uncle Wallace? Oh, I always know when it's you, Anna. Sixth century, remember? 
nice old jar. It's not just any old jar, my dear. That jar dates so. Oh, never mind. If I begin, I'm going to end up starting to give you a lecture or something. Now, tell me, what brings you all the way across the campus to visit with your old uncle, huh? I thought maybe you'd let me borrow one of your books. Something on ancient Egypt. <laughs> Don't tell me that all these years of influence finally rubbed off on you. Or does Carter deserve that credit, huh? Neither, really. Oh. So why all of a sudden an interest in Egypt? I don't know. Probably because we were in the warehouse checking out your Egyptian collection. Yeah, where that old jaw comes from. You know, one of these days I gotta get over there and uncrate the rest of my stuff. <laughs> Unless Carter, bless his inquisitive heart, hasn't beat me to all of it by now, huh? You know, I was hoping, though, being part Egyptian, you were starting to take an interest in your heritage. But here. You read this. Enjoy it. And when you're through, I'll give you something more technical to read, all right? Oh, excuse me. Dr. Hawa. Dr. Michaels, how are you? How was the Mongolian expedition? Terrific. Hey, did you find any more dinosaur nests? Splendid. You know, the Crimean War is definitely not my favorite subject. Kind of stiff? I guess those crates were heavier than they looked. You know, it's strange. How Anna reacted to that mummy. I know this is none of my business, but when's the wedding gonna happen? Oh, I don't know. After the semester, I suppose. You really love her, don't you, Carter? Huh? Well, sure, I mean... Well, what the hell kind of question is that? I have to get this back to AV anyway. Techno geeks are waiting. Thanks. Isn't there some rule about students and faculty fraternizing? Well, I'll look it up. Someday. Now this is the Anna that I know and love. No. What if someone comes in? Is anything wrong? I'm just feeling strange today. I don't know why. But I'll make it up to you, I promise. Dinner tonight? Can we make it tomorrow? I have so much studying to do tonight. Sure. Hey, Chuck, wouldn't you really like to get a peek at that old mummy? Aren't you even just a wee bit curious? Hell no. And unless you want to get us in big trouble with Dr. Hara, I suggest you get rid of any such fool ideas. Now, I'm going to go get those coffees. You know how I take mine. I don't think Doc Harwell would get too mad at me if I just take a little peek at you.
Hey, Dick, I got the coffee. work to do, my Nubian. student you also had a crush on your ancient history professor. You know what? You're right. Guess who that was. Well, yes, but you know, I'm just in my job. Excuse me. More. Dr. Harwell? What? Of course, I'll be right there. Come, come on, let's go. It's becoming so probably good. What the hell happened, Dr. Harwa? What did they take? The Egyptian collection, including the priceless mummy. Doesn't look like they took anything else, even though some of these artifacts are of equal value. I'm so sorry, Dr. Harwa. I know that a lot of your life's work was sealed up in those crates. Do you have any idea who may have done this? Police haven't even got a clue. Except I think it's what you people call an inside job. That Egyptian ESP again. Oh, just common sense. When I got here this morning, all the doors were locked. Both the security guards were missing. You don't think that Chuck Jefferson or Dick Walters? They're the only suspects we have right now. Whoever did this is going to have one hell of a time trying to fence it all. <laughs> trying to sell it is not going to be their biggest problem. When I uncovered these artifacts, they came from the tomb of Horst Shepsut. I had the most incredible, ominous feeling about it. Particularly that mummy, there was some kind of inconceivable evil about it. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that this is the beginning of something big that's gonna lead us all the most terrifying journey of our life. This is Carter. 
By now you've probably heard about the robbery at the warehouse. But if things change, at your end tonight, I'd still love to see you over dinner. Call me, okay? I love you. O great Osiris, and Isis, who raised Osiris from the dead, hear me. It has been a long time, Evil One. What do you seek of Osiris? And Isis, now that you have conquered death. It is true, I have my mortal body, but not my eternal love. Pat Emma Ket died, but I know that her soul must live. I have felt Hat Emma Ket's familiar touch. Tell me, what must I do to be joined once again with my princess? First, you must find the host body that now harbors her long buried spirit. And then. Yes. Then, although my amulet makes your power even greater. You must strengthen them even more in order to summon the princess's immortal spirit through the corridors of time. Strengthen them more by securing young beauties. And, in the heat of their passion, stealing from them with a kiss their immortal cause, as you stole that of your Nubian. Their cause, and then? Accomplish those tasks, and then we will reveal the last thing you must do. And although I just know that you'd all prefer to pick up where we left off yesterday in the Crimean War. I thought given the news of the robbery that we're maybe better off starting off with a topic a little bit more interesting. For example, Egyptian mummies. Yeah. You gonna tell us about King Root and Tutin, Professor? Or his wife, Queen Hatsi Tatsi? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the ancient Egyptians were firm believers in life after death, of the spirit in the afterworld, but also of the physical body. They believed that at birth, a ka was also born. You mean like a soul? It's not a soul, Yvonne. It's uh, it's it's more of a of an of an alter ego or a. Or, or an invisible twin, if you will. Didn't they also take out the brains and the hearts before they wrapped up the bodies? Yeah. You know what, Elena? I really wasn't planning on getting that graphic, especially this close to lunch. But yes, to answer your question, the embalmers would actually remove all the internal organs. Well, what about all those old stories about curses and mummies coming back to life? I'm afraid that only happens in the movies. Well, I think that's enough about mummies for one day. I will see you all next week. And don't forget that your uh, papers are coming up soon, like next month. I'm having a really hard time coming up with a topic, Professor. Perhaps you could make some sort of suggestion? I'll see you all next week. See you. Bye. Bye. You almost missed my lecture. I'm sorry. Lost in the past, I'm afraid. But it was ancient Egypt, though. Excellent. <laughs> Doing anything for lunch, Ms. Harwa? I thought we were having dinner tonight, Professor Moore. Well, you know, that's, that's hours away. And talking about mummies always makes me hungry. All right, but let me freshen up.
Excuse me, um, Professor Moore. Hi. Um, I missed your lecture, but I am sure it was fascinating. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you are... Actually, you know what? I was thinking about auditing your class. Um, maybe picking it up next semester? Yeah? Are you in interested in ancient history? Oh, to me, it is alive. Especially ancient Egyptian history. I'm sorry, my name is Ramsey. Ramsey Amun. Amun? You're Egyptian? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. You know what they say, cold hands, warm. <laughs> Did I hear something about somebody being Egyptian? Ms. Amon? This is one of my students, Anna Harwa. Anna is also Egyptian. Do I know you from someplace, Miss Amon? Please call me Ramsey. And I have the exact same feeling. I think that we've met uh, maybe a long time ago. I feel the same. What are you doing for lunch? I'll see you this evening. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is much better than the college cafeteria, don't you think, Ramsey? Mm, yes. And the coffee here is especially good. Mm, indeed. I can honestly say I've never had anything quite like it. It's very stimulating, don't you think? Mm, something the matter, Anna? I'm just trying to remember where we may have met. Perhaps you will remember soon. It's weird. Something about you reminds me of... Egypt. <laughs> I tend to have that effect on people, especially those with the blood of the pharaohs running through their veins. Blood of the pharaohs? Would you like another refill? No, thank you. Indeed. So, Anna, tell me, uh, you and this uh, Professor Moore, are you and he lovers? Well, I thought I was in love with Carter. God knows he's wonderful, good looking, and stable. But lately, there's been something holding me back. Anna, maybe he's not the right one for you. I don't understand. Maybe you should give your body, your soul, your heart to someone who deserves it much more than he. Thanks. No problem. So I'll see you in class. Yeah, study hard. See you later. Okay, bye. We'll have to do this again sometime. Oh, yes, we will, Anna. Oh, I almost forgot. I thought that you might like to have this. Osiris? Mm -hmm. The Egyptian god who conquered death. Yes. It's actually thousands of years old. The 17th dynasty. I'll treasure it. Always. I'm sure you will. you ladies this afternoon. I hope that you finally settled on a topic for your research paper. It counts as a very big part of your grade, you know, and neither one of you are anywhere even near a C. Well, I'm almost a C. <laughs> huh? Actually, Professor Moore, Carter, that's what we've come to discuss. <clears throat> I don't understand. You see, Yvonne and I have been trying really hard to decide on a topic, but we just can't really come up with anything that interests us. 
We were kind of hoping that maybe you might be able to, um, you know, suggest something for us. Carter! Carter, are you in there? Listen, we'll talk on the talk later, okay? This never happened. Ladies. Discussing research papers, Professor? Um. Well, that was worth a try. I guess I'll stop by the library and get some books. Maybe we can come up with an idea for our papers. Are you going to be home tonight? Pick up some vino on the way over. I have a lot of pent up energy just bursting to get out. You got it, girl. I don't think that's going to pass the restaurant's dress code. Good evening, Carter. You know, as good as this feels, we should save it for later. We have reservations in exactly a half hour. I'm sorry, Carter. I should have called you earlier, but I lost track of time. I can't get a dinner with you tonight can't. I'm just not feeling well, and I've had a lot on my mind. Please try to understand. I do. And please don't touch me like that. Like what? We've made love countless times. Is something wrong, Anna? You've been acting kind of strange ever since... ever since we opened that coffin. It's just something that I have to figure out myself. Rain check for tomorrow? Maybe. Depends on how I feel. Okay. Something new? Actually, something very old. See you tomorrow. write something about mummies. At least they're kind of cool. I don't know. I'm getting so fried over all this stuff. I can't even tell a dynasty from a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to come up with something because I have to pass this course. Tell me about it. My current GPA really sucks. This wine is not helping me think. Agreed. So I suggest we take a break and, um, go with the flow. <laughs> now, that's a great idea. Too bad about that stuffy old professor.
great Osiris and Isis, once more grant me the power to transcend space, to bear me where I need to go to achieve my sacred goal. Any news on the robbery, Doctor? Fortunately, I had the foresight to bring some of these artifacts back here for preliminary study. Sure, that way the uh, thieves didn't get everything. It's what they didn't get that has me greatly concerned. Look, come here, Carter. This scroll was buried with the mummy of Horshepsut. It has its own magical properties, and it tells a fantastic tale of black wizardry and, and evil and forbidden love. Carter, let your imagination soar back to Egypt as it was some 3,000 years ago. Back to a world ruled by magic and a pantheon of timeless gods. Some good, others evil. An ancient world of extraordinary beauty. A world of love and of hate. And he finally could no longer tolerate what was happening within his own royal palace. Without even a trial, poor Sepsu was already damned for daring to engage one of royal blood in so forbidden an illicit affair. For her crime, poor Sepsu was turned over to the royal embalmer to suffer the most terrible punishment the Pharaoh could devise. As an added punishment, a mask in the image of Osiris was affixed to her face to trap her evil spirit inside her body, thereby preventing its flight to the afterworld and ever knowing eternal rest. It was decreed that while the sorceress yet lived, only one of her internal organs would be removed. Then her body was wrapped in the traditional linen bandages. As a final insult, they placed her without ceremony inside a coffin. and then buried her in an unmarked tomb, where she remained until I discovered her 3,000 years later. That is a fantastic story, Doctor. But that's all it is. It's a fantasy. Are you so certain, Carter? Dr. Harwa, with all due respect, sir, I know that you believe in the supernatural, but but I mean, come on, you don't really put any truth in that story, do you? Son, I've been an archaeologist for many years, and there's one thing I've learned over those years. Never to take the superstition of my people lightly. Now, we know that the mummy is that of Horshepsut. We also know that they cut her heart out. It's right there in that jar, if you care to take a look at it, covered by the auger. 
We know also that her face was covered in the mask of Osiris. You know, Carter, just maybe, just maybe it might be true. Well, actually, Dr. Harwood, I didn't really, um, I didn't really come here to discuss mummies or the supernatural. But Anna. Anna? Why, is there something wrong with my niece? I don't know. Lately, she's been acting very... I don't know. Look, Carter. Take a look at the images on this papyrus. Well, I guess the, uh, the princess kind of looks like Anna in a, in a superficial way, if that's what you're suggesting. Carter, I feel that there are powers at work here that could put Anna in danger and also yourself, given your relationship to her. Carter. Carter, wait. Carter. Carter, Carter, wait. Wait, look. Give this to Anna. It'll protect her against evil. <laughs> what do you mean, like a cross against Dracula? Carter, please. Please. You guys, I'm really worried about the professor. I think something's bothering him. Maybe his so-called fiance isn't putting out for him. <laughs> or his assistant, either. Hi. Hi. Uh, isn't Professor Moore coming in today, Miss Kim? Yeah, he's always early. Look, he won't disappoint you ladies, OK? Better not. Right? You think we actually like ancient history? Sorry, I was, uh, I was with Dr. Harwa. Listen, can you take over for me today? You know the topic, and it's basically just a slideshow anyway. Yeah, sure. But is there a problem? Connor, are you okay? I'll see you later, okay? God, looks like you've got me today. You guys heard the professor? Get out your books, I'm taking over. Professor Moore? Uh, Hi. We couldn't help but notice something's bothering you, isn't it? Look, I'm, I, I, I'm in a bit of a hurry. We don't like to see our very favorite professor upset. Yeah, when you feel bad. We feel bad, too. Uh, if this has something to do with your research paper topic... Ramsey! Hi, how are you, Lana? I, mean, I hope you don't mind me stopping by so unexpectedly. I was just in your neighborhood and... No, no problem. Please, come in. Mm. <laughs> Lovely place you have here, Anna. It's okay for what a student can afford. It's no palace. Oh, and you do deserve to live in one, like a princess. Can I get you something, some tea or? Um, actually, if you have coffee, that would be great. I've developed quite a taste for it lately. Sure, I think it's still warm. I see you're developing quite an interest in ancient Egypt, Anna. It was my uncle's influence, I guess. Hmm. And 
Вики. It's decaf. Sorry, I, I hope you don't mind. No, it's fine. So you were saying about your uncle? Dr. Wallace Harwa, the archaeologist? Maybe you've heard of him. N no, but perhaps I should have. He's best known for finding the tomb of Horship Set. Kind of bad witch, I'm told. <laughs> Maybe you heard about the robbery on the news. Most of the artifacts from that tomb were taken. Most of them? Well, luckily, Uncle Wallace kept some of the artifacts in his office. Hmm. Mm. I can't mm. escape this feeling that I know you, mm. that you and I once... Oh, I like to be touched. I like your touch, Anna. What's the matter, Anna? It's strange. I can't feel your heartbeat. Mm. Well, maybe someday, soon, you will. We have to talk. May I come in? Okay. Well, good afternoon, Professor Moore. Well, good afternoon, Ms. Almond. Am I interrupting something? No, no, not at all. Actually, I was just leaving. When will I see you again? When the time is right, you'll know. Something's happening to you. Do you still love me, Anna? I'm not sure I ever really did. I'm sorry, Carter, if I've hurt you. Is it that Ramsey woman? Ramsey and I are longtime friends. Long time? But the two of you just met. Goodbye, Carter. Presentation went without a hitch. No broken bulbs, upside down slides. Or... Carter. I look that bad? <sighs> yeah, like you lost your best friend, but I don't know. That's just me, so it must be something else. Anna and I just broke up. At least I think that's what just happened. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Look, I know how you felt about her. I just don't understand it. I mean, one minute we're planning on getting married, the next minute... It's that woman. The one who came into our class. What was her name? Um, Ramsey, I think. She's got some kind of a control or, or a power over Anna. Dr. Harwell was right. He had this kooky notion about something weird happening. We're close, Carter, so I could say this. Maybe you never really loved each other. Maybe it's best that you forget about Anna and, well, that other woman. I'm wondering if you know where Dr. Harwa's office is. Oh, certainly. It's upstairs and down the hallway. Name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thank you. Maybe you're right. But even so, I'm worried about her. I think maybe Anna's gotten herself into something that none of us can really understand. Anna? Hey, 
the Hawa. Oh, hello, Carter. I don't know. I'm fine. Why? Anna? What about Anna? I know this sounds crazy, Doctor, but I now believe that you may be onto something. In regards to Anna's connection with those stolen artifacts. And there's something else, too. You know that likeness you showed me on that scroll? Yes, I've got the scroll right in front of me. What? Likeness? What the hell are you talking about, likeness? Dr. Harwa, I presume. Astonishing. <laughs> I never liked those old pictures. What do you think? Dr. Harwa? What? What? He just hung up. What do you want? I believe you have something of mine, Doctor. Something you Westerners call, uh, dear to my heart. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, Doctor. Oh, never mind. I believe I can find it for myself. I see, right here. That you've taken very good care of my possession. Thank you, Dr. Harwa. What'd you do with Anna? Nothing as of yet. But with a little time and some formality, she will realize her true identity and her destiny. I won't allow it. I would. Ah! 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 signal could be off the hook shouldn't we go to his office and check to see if something's wrong yeah come on Just as soon, there will be no more Anaharwa. Only Horshep suit and hat M a cat. Oh my God. Okay. You better call for an ambulance. Yes, I want to report an accident at the university. God. Yeah, it's Dr. Wallace Harwell. Don't try to talk, Harwell. Doctor. Yeah, Find yeah, I, I Anna. He... Save her. Yes, I'll wait. I had a vision. My, my name is Tina Kim. You must go. Go? Go. Go where? Go. Jen. Ambulance is on its way. Oh, God. Dr. Harwa. 
好。Just like you did on those cool nights at your father's palace. Now, before I perform the sacred rites upon your body, let us once more enjoy the pleasures of this world of mortals. I wish you'd wait in the car. Are you crazy? Then who's gonna back you up? Then here, you might need this. What's this for? We'll soon find out. You still haven't lost your touch after all these centuries, my darling. But now you must sleep. But sleep only for a short time. To shield yourself from the pain that I must inflict upon your body. Chuck. ra ha Nick. Almighty Osiris, God of death and resurrection, and Isis, goddess of the earth and the moon, grant me, I beseech you, the power to summon the spirit of my true love, Hat M. Akhet. You have but to perform the sacred ritual, as it was long ago ordained. Remove the princess's heart and join it with your own. Then, by summoning it forth in my name, the princess's spirit and body will again be one. And you will be together throughout eternity. Imkantatam, Rakatem. What the hell is he babbling about? I don't know, but it could be ancient Egyptian. Imkan Ra Ra. He used to be a cop. He could mean stop Ra. Oh, Spirit of Hat Emiket, hear the words of the Horship Suit. I summon you through the corridors of time to inhabit this body.
Osiris and Isis, make my thrust swift and true, so that the hearts of Hat Amaket and Horship. And may God guide my hand. Horship soot. Hello, she's not one of your students. You fools. My power is even stronger now than it has ever been. I can do things to you that you've never imagined. Carter. Carter. Raka tip in Kaha. Raka tip. Raka tip. In Kaha. It's okay. Thanks to you. I just figured if taking off the mask brought the sorceress back to life, then, well, you know, it would. Yeah. Right. Well, except for that missing canopic jar, it won't be long before all of Dr. Harwa's collection is back in storage. Where it'll safely remain until some foolish archaeologist checks it out again. Miss Tina? Thank you. Some other lifetime, my darling princess. <laughs> <laughs> 